co coming from the natural sciences and looking at lake people and thinking, well, they really value the environment and clean water and wildlife. And we developed presentations and handouts that really emphasize that. And I go out on a site and I take a picture and I love the plants and I take a picture and all it is is this big wall of plants. And I didn't realize until we went through some informant interviews, which is where you meet with someone who has, who lives out on the lake and has that value set and you show them more of your materials that that was kind of scary for them. That they already had a lot of wildlife and they had worked hard on maintaining a nice access and a view of the lake. And just by going back out and taking a picture of the same site, but centering the access area in the photo, I now had a photo that really made people much more likely to adopt. Just when they looked at it, they felt at ease because they knew they would still have a shoreline access area. So we found ways, well, we, we actually found out that our original materials were scaring the socks off of people. And that's why two people would come up at the end of the presentation and they'd be ready to restore their shoreline and everyone else would kind of file out and not talk to me. We were able to change the presentation emphasize new things about all the choices people had. How tall is it? What kind of border do I want? What sort of display do I want inside? Do you want to have a, a bird bath or a wagon wheel or a rock feature? And put it more into a designing your landscape and maintaining these things that you already value. And all of a sudden, all kinds of people would flock up at the end of the presentation and they were interested. And not only that, but people that still were somewhat not at ease with the idea, well, a neighbor would adopt, someone down the lake would adopt, and suddenly they would be more at ease with the idea and they would adopt too. 